What's up, guys? So Rustin stars Coleman Domingo as the civil rights activist Bayard Rustin, who orchestrated the 1963, I believe it was, March on Washington. The peaceful protest. This was the biggest peaceful protest in history. Uh, and look, Coleman Domingo has been being nominated for all sorts of awards for this movie. And I think a lot of people are, you know, doubting this this performance and the power of it. Uh, Golden Globe nominee. Critics Choice, I believe he got in for. I believe he got in for the SAG. And guess what? He got in for the BAFTA, too. So I think Coleman Domingo is on his way for an Oscar nomination. If he misses there, that would be a surprise at this point. Because after seeing his performance in this movie, I could totally see why he's been nominated uh, so many times. He is the face of the film, literally. Uh, he carries the film, and, you know, he this is his movie. He carries this movie on his back. Everybody else is fine in the film, but he is doing the best, and he's giving a great performance. Martin Luther King Jr. is also a character in this film uh, who is played well, but it reminds me of the film Selma, with the incredible performance by David Oyelowo, who didn't get an Oscar nomination for that film, which that year has so many great Best Lead Actor performances. Same for this year. This movie kind of puts a puts a magnifying glass on Rustin's uh, private life and his romantic life and how he deals with it, how he dealt with it during you know trying to orchestrate. Uh, and coordinate this giant event. Uh, he deals with racism. He deals with homophobicism, if that's even a word. Um, he he deals with all these things, and I think that his performance is extremely three dimensional. And uh, that's basically the best thing about this movie. I feel like that. Look, it's under two hours long, and it's it's an easy watch, but it it does feel a little hollow. I don't think it was as emotionally resonant as maybe I would have hoped, like a movie like Selma. So I wasn't really able to get myself emotionally invested into the story, which I probably should have, but I just think that the, that the script was just kind of average, which leads the film to be average. I think the, the best thing about this movie and the only thing about this movie that goes above average is the performance of Coleman Domingo. So not a lot to say about this movie other than I liked it. I thought it was okay but the thing to remember about this film is the lead performance. So in the end of the day, Rustin, I thought it was a, a, an okay film. I didn't think it was great, but I liked it. I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five stars. And I think we'll see what happens Tuesday morning uh, with Coleman Domingo. Is he going to get in or not? Look, I didn't see Andrew Scott in All of Us Strangers. Didn't see that film. So I don't know if he's going to get in, but Barry Keown, or Keegan, Keoghan, however to pronounce his last name, he's sneaking up. He's getting BAFTA nominations for Saltburn. He's sneaking up for, for that Best Lead Actor nomination. So what's what's going to happen? Will Leo get in? Will Leo not get in? It's going to be interesting to see. So that's where we're at with that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future videos and reviews coming in the future. A bunch of stuff up on the channel now. You can follow me on Twitter and or X at RyanKing72 and Instagram and TikTok at KingOfRises131. That's been it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching my review for Rustin. And until next time, over and out.